And we also have big announcement inside of Virginia today. The governor urging schools to make sure students have in-person learning options by March 15th. And he wants those school districts to even consider summer classes. Colby Satterfield has more now on what schools are considering. A push to get kids back in the classroom and potentially through the summer. Governor Ralph Northam made it clear kids need to be back in school for in-person learning. It's critical to prevent greater learning loss and to support our children's health and well-being. Today, the governor set a March 15th deadline for school districts to provide in-person learning options. We've seen more data now, and it suggests that schools don't have the kind of rapid spread that we've seen in some other congregate settings. He says the pandemic and alternate learning have taken a toll on children, describing how pediatricians report increases in behavioral problems, mental health issues, and increases in substance abuse in young patients. They're writing more prescriptions, such as antidepressants, and stimulants, and, and that's just not a good direction. Loudoun County mother Liz Angeli Lopez says her children have felt the stress emotionally, is struggling, and academically. My high schooler, she's in ninth grade. She's taking all advanced classes, and when we started in August, that first quarter was not good for her. Because of that, Governor Northam is pushing for schools to offer in-person learning during the summer months. And our children need to catch up to be ready we're learning in the fall. Northam says summer school won't be mandatory, which Lopez is happy about. Our family <laughs> could use a break. I think teachers also need a break. She says summer school won't be for her family, but it could be for others who are trying to make up for lost time during a challenging year. In Virginia, Colby Satterfield, WUSA 9.